Monday, I share with you a new Instant Pot recipe. So along with the recipes, I like to share with you some tips and tricks and just things that will help make the Instant Pot a little bit easier for you. So today I'm showing you how to deep clean your Instant Pot. I especially want to thank Eclaw for sponsoring this video. We're going to clean the outside of the pot, the inside. We're also going to clean this bad boy, all the little grooves, and then especially the lid. The lid is very important to clean correctly because if you do it wrong and you put it back together wrong, your Instant Pot won't work. All right, you guys, let's head on over and I'll show you just how I clean my Instant Pot. Well, I have been using e cloth for a while, and e cloth was so kind to send me some new ones because my other ones were, you know, let's say, so loved. So I just want to introduce you some of the things that I use. So this is called the Kitchen Dynamo, and it's perfect because it's like a little sponge. It cleans all your pots and pans, and it does the hard work for you. This next one is a non-scratch scrubber. So it's perfect for the hard stuff, but it doesn't scratch up all your pans will be perfect for the stainless steel instant pot. Now this is their dish cloth that I like to use. It's perfect because it can get into those little crevices because it's made out of an amazing material and it's thin enough that it can just fit perfectly in spots that normal rags can't reach. The other thing I like to use are these kitchen towels. Now even though they are cute on the outside, they're actually really absorbent. So they can be used multiple times and wipe up many things because they can so much water. Now if you're on a tight budget and you can't get all of those cloths, this is the general purpose cloth and it can do all of the things that the other cloths can do. So this one is by far my favorite because it's just a one and done cloth. So to show you just how well this works, I decided not to really clean my Instant Pot for about a good week. And you can see there's the build up in there, the outside is pretty disgusting. Even though it's hard to see on camera, it really is pretty gross, I'm not going to lie. So I'm excited to show you how I deep clean my Instant Pot. So the first thing I like to do is clean the inside of the base of the Instant Pot. So I take my stainless steel pot out and I'm just cleaning the sides and all around the groove. It gets pretty dirty. There is some food that can drip down or spill in there and so it's important to clean that out. Now I'm using the non-scratch scrubber because I don't want to scratch up the inside of the pot, but I want to get the dirty grime out of it. Alright, so next I'm going to clean my stainless steel pot. Yes, it is pretty dirty in there. Even though it's clean, it just needs kind of a deep cleaning every now and again. So I'm using the kitchen dynamo, so all you have to do is get it wet. I like to do hot water, bring it out, and then just start scrubbing away. Now this will get rid of all the buildup and the watermarks, and it just makes it shiny and new again. Then when you're done with the inside, don't forget to clean the outside too. There are watermarks on there. There's lots of little fingerprints. Obviously that's for me. I touch the pots a lot. So this will just wipe it down and make it sparkly and clean. Next, I'm going to clean the little lip where the lid attaches to. Now, I like to use just a washcloth to clean this. I've seen a lot of people use paintbrushes or Q-tips, but if you can find a good washcloth that is thin enough that will fit through the little cracks and areas, then for me, that's perfect because my washcloths are in my kitchen, I like to use them, and then clean them when I'm done. And sometimes, you just don't realize how much dirt is in your Instant Pot. Ugh. Sorry guys. All right, so now I'm going to kind of shove it a little bit into the pot and just make it go all the way around in that little crevice. Just keep pushing the food through and at the very end, you'll be able to just pile up all that nasty gunk on the lip. Now the first part of the lip that I cleaned that has a little bit more room, I like to push all of that to that main part because I'll, I can get it out a whole lot easier. All right, the ring is looking better. The inside of it is looking so much better, so I'm going to take that dynamo cloth that I used to clean my pot and I'm just going to scrub the outside of the instant pot. Now using a cloth like this, it will make it, it will make all the watermarks go away. You don't have to use any spray or cleaner. You just wipe it down and then you take the dish cloth with, that absorbs a lot of water and just kind of dry it off and this will make it so there will be no streaks or watermarks. So much better. This Instant Pot is ready to fill much. 
Now for the dreaded part, the lid. So first I'm going to take off the ceiling ring. Now every six months or so I like to change out my ceiling ring. One, because it gets odor stuck inside that ceiling ring and because sometimes it gets stretched out and it doesn't feel as well. So you can get these on Amazon. Um, but before you get a new one, make sure that your old one is clean. So I'm just grab grabbing the dishcloth and I'm just taking my fingernail and kind of just rubbing the dishcloth in the crevices of the ring. This will clean it out really well. And now just make sure it dries completely before putting the ring back into your lid. So now that the ring is out, I'm just going to kind of clean underneath where the lid is and then also all the metal part of the top of the lid. And once everything looks good, you can't see any remnants of food or watermarks, then you can just go ahead and grab your dish towel and dry it off. You don't want anything wet when you are done cleaning your Instant Pot. Alright, now we're going to talk about the float valve. That's that little button that goes up and down to let you know if it's pressurizing. So go ahead and take that silicone little lid off of the float valve. Now my finger is underneath here because I don't want it to fall right out. So slowly pull it out. Now if this has food or buildup in it, guess what? Your Instant Pot is not going to pressurize. So if ever your Instant Pot isn't pressurizing, check your float valve. Make sure it's really, really clean. So when I deep clean my Instant Pot, I make sure that this is clean and it's ready to go. So then my Instant Pot will work correctly. I also like to clean my silicone little cap. And yes, it is miscolored because I use my Instant Pot almost every day. So then I'm just going to put it back exactly how it was before. There are two little dots that will pop up. That means you know that it's in correct that is done correctly, then go ahead and put your silicone cap back on top. And just while I'm cleaning, this little thing pops right off and it's kind of dirty. So it's not important that it has to be clean, but I like things sparkly and clean. So I'm going to just clean up, make sure all the gunk is off, and then clean around where that lid was sitting. Then when you're done, go ahead and just pop that lid right back on. Alright, it is time to put the ceiling ring back on. So when you put your ceiling ring on, make sure that it is firm and snug. So I like to start on one side and kind of just hold it there and slowly go around all the edges to make sure that it's fitting on. And then I'll run my fingers around the edge, make sure that it's all on correctly because your Instant Pot won't feel if this ring is not on correctly. Now that first model that I showed you was the Lux. This one is the Duo the Silicone Caps are a little bit different, but the way that you clean it is the same. So I just like to take my handy dandy cloth and just wipe this down really, really good. And just like the other one, you're going to pop it back in, make sure that those two little holes are showing, and then you can put the silicone cap right on top. You should be good to go. So I know there are a lot of different ways you can clean your Instant Pot. This is just the way that I like to do it. So down below in the comments, I would love to hear what you use to clean your Instant Pot. Now before I forget, I have one more tip or trick for you. So after I clean my Instant Pot and after I use my Instant Pot, I flip my lid upside down. I never put my lid on and seal it in order for it to store because it just makes it kind of stink. But if I flip it upside down and kind of let the air and let the ring air out a little bit, then it won't be so stinky the next time. Now, if you want to check out eClock yourself, I put a link in the description for you. It's one of the easiest ways to clean your Instant Pot. All right, you guys, I'll see you on Monday.